so we thought we would um, do a presentation on our Beatrice system that just showed some of the basic setups and ways it can work. Some of them are very, very basic, just to give you the most basic indication, and then um, a more sophisticated one towards the end, just to show you different ways in which our Beatrice intercom system um, can work, just to give you uh, an idea. So we'll get going. How to set up a Beatrice intercom system. We'll go through it now. So many of you may know our systems. Uh, many of you may not. Um, Beatrice is the name for our Dante AES67 intercom range. Um, this is the, the basic units as it is now with um, belt pack, desktop and rack mount units up to 16 channels. Um, we also have a phone unit, which some of you may not have been aware of before, which is quite interesting. A one or two channel phone unit, uh, which can be very useful for just a quick pick it up and shout onto a, an intercom network, because you only got to pick it up and put it down, which is the same as pushing and, and dropping the button on the talk system, so it can be quite useful. Our divine um, Dante speaker is very useful as part of uh, many of these systems, particularly to put um, in a dressing room or in a green room. And we have a mixer as part of the system. We have a, um, a Dante mixer. Um, so that's where we're at at the moment. Um, but it's expanding all the time, our range. And we have a, a few units coming online soon or just arriving. Uh, on the left there, that's the, the Lighthouse CLH4, um, which is um, a Dante flasher unit. It's a four input unit that we can use for signaling, uh, different colors for different channels coming in uh, for audio present uh, and call functions. In the center, we have the W1, which is a wall mount position. We can have one or four channels in a wall mount position. And on the right there, we have a B4, which is a new unit, um, which will be coming along soon, which is a, a compact four channel unit uh, using the new Dante Broadway chip. Um, which will give us lots more functionality because it actually has 16 in and 16 out onto the Dante networks. It gives us lots of options. It's quite a, a funky little belt pack unit. So we're, we're expanding. Um, many of you will know about Dante, um, but it's probably worth just recapping why the Beatrice system is on Dante with the benefits it gives us for a, an intercom such as Beatrice. Um, it's very easy to use. It's a configurable cross-point router, works point to point, point to multi-point, very simple to use. One of its big key points. Uh, it's reliable. We have many Dante systems in use in many major projects around the world. Um, and our reliability um, has been proven very good on Dante-based units. Um, and the bigger units indeed having dual redundancy on the network connections. It's a high audio quality, 48 kilohertz audio uh, throughout. Uh, low latency on Dante with just a few milliseconds. Um, the fact that it's on Dante or AES67, it means it's compatible with any other Dante devices. Um, so the Beatrice can connect into consoles and routers uh, on Dante or AES67. Um, and with the new firmware upgrades, all units are compatible with SMPTE 2110, which is a question we've had quite a bit lately. So um, our units are compatible with SMPTE 2110. Um, on the Beatrice, key points we have uh, with our units, um, bell packs, desktops, rack mounts, and phone units from 1 to 16 channels. Some of the units we have local audio inputs and outputs for integration into your existing systems. Um, we utilize fixed ratio mixers on a lot of our units for creating mix groups, more of which we will explain if that doesn't make sense, so we'll explain that uh, shortly. They all have a built-in party line mode, a built-in IFB, again, which we'll look at in a moment. Um, minimal configuration. They're very simple to use out of the box. Um, and all mic inputs include the uh, Glen Sound Referee Compressor system to protect the audio inputs. So this is the most simple setup to look at a very basic configuration uh, for three users. We're going to be using the B2 as a belt pack unit. Uh, those of you that are not familiar with the B2, just as a, a summary of it, we can use it uh, in a party mode 
Um, the level controls um, will also give you a panning function, so you can pan one left, pan one right, if you wish. We can use multi-impedance headphones, mono and stereo, uh, very flexible with the, the headphones that we can use. And we give the same relative level on the outputs, regardless of the impedance of the uh, headsets, headphones that you're using. Uh, it's available with five pin or four pin headsets on request. Uh, it's just uh, tell us on order. We'll put on whichever one you prefer. Um, the three position lever key there allows you to push to talk on a down press or locks on an up press. If you double tap that key, uh, it sends a call function into the Beatrice system. So the receiving end will receive a call. Um, it's an in-band 20 kilohertz tone, uh, which is filtered out the other end. Um, and locking ethercons for the power and the connection. Uh, as far as Dante controller is concerned, it will see the B2 as two inputs and two outputs onto the network. In this basic system, we're also going to use the D4, which is a full channel unit, a desktop four channel unit. Um, we have volume controls on here, which give you the panning and level control per input. Again, we have the multi impedance headphones. Uh, we have an external mic input with Phantom and an internal mic as well. Um, there is a, a 6.35 mil quarter inch jack socket, or you can have the optional four or five pin headset connector as before. Uh, on Dante controller, the D4 here is seen as four inputs and four outputs. Um, talk keys can be set to be momentary, latching, uh, or in an intelligent mode. Um, you have the same call function on a double press. Uh, the red LED there will show you a presence indicator of any incoming audio. We have a display for setup on the D4. Um, the very high quality Visitron speakers. If you've never heard them, they're particularly good for speech. Uh, and we have the locking Ethercon power and PoE, although our unit here does also have uh, an internal main supply as well. Okay, so this is the system, uh, very basic. Um, this is the D4, uh, talking out to two camera positions which are using B2s. Uh, from the D4, we're sending audio um, on channel one out to the camera one on the, on the belt pack B2. Um, they can talk back to them on their own channel one. We do the same. Uh, for channel two of our desktop D4 for the director, so you can talk directly out to uh, camera two. Um, and we're set, setting their second talkback channel uh, so they can talk directly to each other. So they have a direct talk to each other. So a very simple three user system in a, a very basic application of the system. On Dante controller, this is how it will look. Very simple. You can see um, this is how Dante controller would present the audio. Uh, you may be familiar with this. Uh, across the top, we have the transmitters. You can see there's the four channels transmitted at the top for the, the desktop D4. Um, and on that, you can see we have channel one going to channel one of the Beatrice B2, the receiver on the left. And we can see channel two is selected to go to channel one of the second Beatrice B2. So that's the outcoming audio from the D4. Then we can see on the other two belt pack units, their transmitters at the top, their channel one audio is going to channel uh, one and two the receivers of the Beatrice D4 and their second channel further down you can see they're being sent to each other on channel two so that's a very simple look at how you would set that configuration on Dante controller for a, a very simple system just to give you an idea uh, one D4 uh, which is a four channel unit, not a three, um, and two Beatrice B2s. UK current price about £1,690, just to give, you, uh, to give you an idea of where that system would come in at. So we'll look at um, a second system now. 
which we would call a simple six user setup on a party line. Uh, we're using the one channel belt pack on this, this example. Um, it's uh, much the same as the B2 from before, it's just the single channel version. So we have the same IFB mode, we can, uh, we can still pan, we can use multiple impedance headphones, we can use four or five pin XLRs, we've got the same push to talk or locking talk key, and we have the uh, talk function as before. But as it's only a one channel unit on Dante controller, it will see the Beatrice B1 as one input and one output. <clears throat> so for those of you that have these that may not be aware, or um, if you were looking at, because the, the box looks um, quite a simple looking box, but we do have some configuration options in it. And this is how we set the party mode on a B1. This is how you would do it. You see, we have the blue update button on the side. Um, this allows us to get into the configuration mode uh, for the different settings of the unit. But the one we're interested in is setting up the party mode. So to do this, we hold down that button for three seconds and the LEDs on the front will start to blink. Now, if you keep pressing the update button, it will scroll through the modes. The mode we want is the mode when all the LEDs on the front stop flashing. And this is now the party mode setup. <laughs> Pressing the talk switch will turn the mic activity LED on and off. And that is telling you whether the party mode is on or off. And obviously in this situation, we want to turn it on. So we press that talk key until the, um, the mic activity LED is on. Then we press update again on the side. And we've now set this B1 into party mode. Um, the IFB party mode, of course, what it does is the incoming audio circuit is just passed directly to the output. That's what this mode does. The incoming audio is passed directly to the output. So the destination of this device will always hear what's coming in, but it allows the operator of this device to still talk out. When they hit talk, it will dim the audio. They will be able to talk out. Um, to the next channel, even though they're they're hearing the um, the IFP. So we would set each unit in this way, uh, each of the uh, IFP modes onto these B1s. For the desk unit, we're going to use the same B4 in the same way. Uh, to set the D4 into uh, party mode, we have to press the setup uh, button on the top. If it asks for a password, uh, the password on the D4s is 45, just a, a simple one that stops any uh, user um, fiddling, um, if you want to set it before. Um, we just use the rotary control to scroll down to channel one party mode. Then there are a list of options there, which is telling you which channels do you want me to mix onto the channel one output. So because we're just setting up a party mode on channel one, we want to see channel one party mode until it just says channel one. So what this has done is set up the IFB that the input one will be looped straight to the output of channel one. So we've got a party mode on channel one now. So all of the belt packs and the D4 are all set to party line mode. And this is ultimately what we are doing. We've just set up the party line loop between the units where they're each um, connected to each other, the director using the desktop D4 talks out. And because they're in a loop and the audio is being passed through, each of the uh, camera positions will hear the audio. And if anyone talks, they will all hear it. As long as only one person speaks at a time, that is a limitation of this uh, type of system and a basic configuration. Um, everyone has to talk separately. If everyone tries to talk together, you will uh, uh, If this was set up, we could have numerous uh, devices together. Um, and indeed, on the D4, we're only using channel one for the party line. You could use set up a separate party line on a separate channel with other units, or if you were needing to split these into a two and a three, perhaps, you could set a different party line up on the second channel and have the same ring effect. This is what Dante controller would look like. 
in this configuration. Again, we have the transmitters across the top in the yellow box. And you can see that we're only using channel one of the D4. So the transmitter of channel one, we're sending to the bit, the first Beatrice B1, and it's receiving it on channel one. Then if we go across the top to the first Beatrice B1, you can see we're sending his audio to the second B1 and so on along. You can see each device is just sending its audio to the next device in the chain. And that's it. We've set up the loop. That is a simple party line, which is with five B1s and the one user is a six user part. Uh, the one director is a six user party line. And that's how straightforward it would be to set it up on the intake controller. Again, just to give you an indication, uh, with one Beatrice D4 and five Beatrice B1s in that group configuration, that party line, as a typical example of how it may be used, that has a UK Great British Pounds list price at the moment of 2775, excluding that. So we have um, a more advanced system here now, uh, which will get into some of the... Um, the wider functions of the um, the larger units that we have. We're going to use the Beatrice B2 again as our belt pack, same as we had before, so a two-channel belt pack. Um, but as our, our main position now, we're going to use the Beatrice R8. So this is a rack mount using, uh, unit, um, which on the front is eight inputs and eight outputs. You would see it as an eight input, eight output unit, although it does ha actually have more I.O. than that. But we have um, a speaker and a headphone jack uh, with volume control. We can change the headset connector as well on this. We have an internal and an external uh, microphone. The talk keys can be momentary, push to talk, latching, or an intelligent mode where a, a quick press locks it on and a longer press uh, will release it. Uh, adjust the input and output levels. There's a present indicator on the inputs. Uh, we have the call function. Uh, importantly, we have fixed gain mixer groups, which we'll look at in a moment. Uh, we can uh, monitor a selection of inputs um, or a talk group. Uh, high quality speaker. We have twin primary network connections on copper uh, and twin network connections on SFP as well for fiber modules. Um, there's GPIO for controlling external systems or receiving switching. And we have two local inputs for direct connection to the Dante network. There are two analog ins and two analog outs. We can link to RX together. It can also work um, on PoE or via the internal main supply. On Dante controller, the R8 is not seen as an eight-channel device. On Dante controller, you will see 32 inputs and 32 outputs. The R8 has the Dante Brooklyn module in it. So we have a lot of extra channels available to us, which allow us to do some um, very nice, unique um, mix groups that you can use uh, when setting up some more advanced intercoms. Uh, this is not Dante controller. This is actually the mix grouping internally on the R8. So this is the mix group. This is what uh, happens within the R8. The most important part is the, uh, the, the green rectangle in the right corner, because these are our mix groups. You'll see, you'll notice that on the left side, we have mix in 19 down to mix in 32, and they are all checked and go to output 14. So we have a mix of mix 19 to 32 is mixed out onto output 14. Then you can see we have two seven channel mixers as well. The first one is mix 19 to mix 25, which goes onto output 15. We have four three-channel mixers, 19, 20, and 21, are mixed out onto channel 17. And you can see we have some two-channel mixers as well, 
and the red ones are two channel mixers that have priority to the highest numbered input. So these mixers allow us to set up the groups and we only use these just by routing audio. There's no control and configuration on them. It's if you route the audio to the R8's inputs, they will be mixed and output on the indicated channels. So it's controlled just by routing. So this is the system. Uh, very simple, really. Uh, we have five B2 belt packs. And we have the R8 for a director. Um, from within the Dante network, we're taking a program input. Um, we've got that uh, set as a, an IFB that's going straight through to each of the B2 units. So on channel one of all the B2s, they are hearing the program input. But we're also letting the director talk over that because it's, um, it's an IFB that's being sent to them. The director can talk over that input. It will dim the program and he can talk over it um, to the users of the belt pack B2s on channel one. They can talk back to him directly, of course, on their channel one. And he has direct talks to them on his first five channels. Channel two we've just set up a little mix group. So when the users press channel two, that will set up, um, that, that will go into a little mix group so that the belt pack users on the B2s can talk to each other. So they have a separate group that they can talk to themselves. Um, and on the top of the R8 there, you can see we have uh, connections using the analog XLR connections, the inputs and outputs. We're using that to connect to some legacy intercom systems uh, with the GPIO for the button signaling. Um, and that's coming in on channel six. I think we've set that up in this example, um, just to show you that you can put um, an existing intercom onto one of the uh, talk channels on the R8. So as you can see across the bottom, I've just explained it, but um, the audio is sent to each belt pack, and the director can talk over this to be heard by the belt pack user. Director can speak directly to all users, one to five, separately. The users are monitoring the same program input, but will hear the director if he talks to them due to the IFB interrupt facility. And the users can talk separately to each other on the B2s using channel two. And they can all talk at the same time. Uh, there's no problems with that using this system. Next, the intercom is on channel six, GPIO signaling on a talk button press. So quite simple, but very powerful in what it's doing and um, what you're able to interface with. Um, this is Dante controller. This is the, um, uh, I understand this looks a bit confusing at face value, but we'll walk through it and we'll show you how we set up um, our system to work as we have just indicated. So this is Dante controller. So across the top, you see we have the Beatrice R8 transmitters and that goes one to 32. Then you can see we have the five uh, belt pack B2s with their transmitters. And then at the, uh, at the end there, the top right, we have the network TV input, which is the program. So we've, uh, we've indicated the boxes to talk through how we're setting this. Box one, you can see we're taking the program in input from the network, the Dante network, we're taking that out to five separate channels. Channels 11 to 15, just within our units group 11 to uh, 18, they're all actually set as IFBs. So 11 to 15, will just loop the audio to belt packs one to five. That is using this system as an IFB input. So if you route the audios 11 to 15, it will loop the audio to belt packs one to five. To number two, channel one of each belt pack, you can see there is selected to go to channel one to five, is received by channels one to five, of the R8 on the left. So just straightforward direct signaling uh, connections for channel one. 
on point three in the bottom left, channel one of each B2 receives the director's talkback and IFB from the R8 channels one to five. So you can see the transmitters from uh, channel one, two, three, four, five is all going to channel one of each of the um, Beatrice B2s on the bottom left there. So we've made that connection. So they get the talkback and the IFB from the R8. Point four on the right this is the mixer now setting up the mixer for channel two channel two of each belt pack is sent to the r8 channels 19 to 24. now from the mix groups that we showed you before inputs 19 to 24 on the r8 are a mixer those channels are mixed onto output 15. Yeah, so they'll come back in on output 15. They are mixed together on output 15. So that's using the internal mixer of the R8 to set up a mix group. Then on point five, you can see on the bottom left there, channel two of each of the Beatrice B2s is receiving channel 15 which is the mix of all the B2s. So that's us setting up that mix group. So channel two has set up the uh, group. So all of the belt pack B2 users can talk to each other. Then up to point six, what we're doing here is just connecting our legacy intercom using the local um, IO. Uh, we're connecting it uh, onto channel six of the R8. So it comes in as a channel and will become a Dante channel at uh, number six. So R810 is the local analog input from the legacy intercom <coughs> system. And then R86 is the local analog output to the legacy intercom system. And that's us set up our um, external analog connection, which is the legacy intercom, and we've put it onto channel six. So that is how we would set up Dante controller to achieve this system, to give us the mix group so that the B2s can talk to each other with IFBs, so a program input from the network can go straight to all of the belt pack users and the director uh, has direct talkback over the top of that and include connections to our legacy intercom system. So you can see, you have to think a bit about where the audio is going in Dante controller, but when you break it down, it is all um, relatively straightforward. Uh, but the nice thing with Dante controller, because the links are made within a second or two, it's quite apparent if you've got it wrong, you can hear it and uh, fix it really easily. Uh, it's a, a very neat system, very quick to make configurations as many of you will know who use the system. Uh, just to give you an idea for this setup, an, a Beatrice R8 with five Beatrice B2s used in that way, uh, a current UK list price, £3,475 excluding VAT. Just to give you an idea of where we sit price-wise. Um, many configurations are possible. You can see how the Beatrice R8 works. Um, how the uh, different mixers give you flexibilities in terms of setting up mix groups, uh, how the IFBs give you lots of options, and uh, the fact that you can connect to external devices uh, or legacy intercoms. Um, so there are lots of options. Please let us know if you're looking at maybe this setup can work for you or you'd like to work a bit differently with the system you have. We'll be happy to look at it for you. Um, but a few key points to remember with Beatrice is that all units can be used in an IFB party line mode. They can all be set to that. The 8 and 16 channel units have built in fixed gain mixers, so you can set up mix groups just by using Dante controller. So there's no control and configuration on these. They're all fixed. It's just how you route the audio in Dante controller. So very straightforward to use. 
We do have a unit called the Beatrice Mix 32, if you're familiar with that. Um, this is a separate unit that is just fixed gain mixers. So it allows multiple fixed gain mixers and uh, clean feed mixers as well in a 32 input, 32 output environment. Um, it gives you lots of great options if you have a Beatrice system and you're looking at expanding, or it doesn't even have to be a Beatrice system. This is a, a fixed gain mixer for Dante or an AES67 network that you can use with any system that can provide you some separate mix groups for an intercom environment or for other things you're doing. So um, that unit um, is available too, the Beatrice Mix 32. So that's it, an overview uh, briefly um, at some very basic setups in how you could use the um, Beatrice. Um, we thought we'd do this because obviously many of us are sitting at home at the moment. I'm at my, my home. Um, and tr trying to provide some information for you in this downtime when you may be doing some uh, research. Uh, happy to look at any options of any other uh, presentations or products you'd like to look at more. Please let me know. Um, my email is mark, mark with a C, M A R C dot Wilson at glensound.co.uk. Uh, please drop me a line if you have any points, and I will stop the screen sharing now.